Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to assemble the cylinder head parts of inline 4 engine. So let's start. Right click over the right plane and select sketch, select center line. Following this edge, draw a horizontal line. Click on smart dimension and this distance is 253.817806 mm. Now exit the sketch. From reference, select plane. Click on right plane and click on this line as second reference. The angle is 14.865203. Then click OK. Now repeat the same process. Now this time click on clip offset, then click OK. Now deselect this plane. Right click over plane 1 and select normal plane. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. From this edge draw a horizontal line. Then press escape. Select smart dimension and this distance is 144.963389 mm. Now exit the sketch. Now repeat the same process at plane 2. Now click on insert component and select the camshaft. Now click on open. Now click on the camshaft to put it. Right click over the camshaft and select move with dryer. Now rotate it. The key slot of the camshaft and the crankshaft should be in same direction. Now press Ctrl and select this surface and this line. Then click on Make. Select Concentric. Then click OK. Now select this back surface of the camshaft and the end of this line. Then select Coincident and click OK. Now expand Insert Component and select Copy with Mates. Select this camshaft. Click on Next. Select this line and select this end of this line. Then click OK. Now close mate. Now right click over plane 1 and select normal. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. Put the cursor over the cam profile edge and following the midpoint from this horizontal line, draw a vertical line. Now repeat the same process for all other cam profiles.
Now right click over right click and select normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. And from this edge, draw a horizontal line. And the distance from the bottom line is 413.78511669 millimeter. Now click on center line, put the cursor at the middle edge between two cam profile, then middle point will be shown. Following this middle point, draw a vertical line from the previous horizontal line. Now repeat the same process. Now exit the sketch. Click on insert component. Then select intake valve. Valve spring and washer. Now click on the components to put it. Select this surface and this surface. Click on make. Select concentric and click OK. Now select this surface and this surface. Select concentric and click OK. Select this surface of the washer and this surface of the bulb spring. Select coincident and click OK. Now select the upper surface of the bulb and the lower surface of the bulb spring. Select coincident and click OK. Now click on the line and select the tangential surface of the bulb spring. Select concentric and click OK. Now select copy with mates and select the whole assembly. Then click on next. Now click on the adjacent line and press enter. Now repeat the same process. Now close the mate. Orient all of these assemblies. Now click on insert component. Press Ctrl and select exhaust valve, valve spring and washer. Then click on open. Assemble them as similar method to the intake valve. Now click on mate, expand mechanical mate, select cam, select the cam profile surface and select this surface, then click OK. Now repeat the same process. Till now in SOLIDWORKS, mechanical mate can be copied, so that's why we need to individually mate all of these components.
Now click on insert component. Now select the injector and click on open. Click on the component to put it. Now select any of the tangential surface of the injector and select one of the four vertical lines at the middle. Click on make. Select concentric and click OK. Select the upper surface of the injector and select the starting point of the vertical line. Select coincident and click OK. Now close the mate. Now expand insert component and select copy with mates. Select the injector and click on next. Now select this line and the start point of the line. Then click OK. Now repeat the same process for two other lines. 